So I'm going to show you today how you can make six different skin tones using only five coloured pencils. I think people get quite scared of drawing skin tones, even more so when they have to mix them themselves, but it's honestly so easy. So the only colours I'm using for this is white and black. I've got scarlet red, burnt sienna and light chrome yellow. I've linked in the description to the specific pencils that these are. Let me show you how to do it. The first thing I've done before anything else is make sure that my pencils are all sharpened. It'll be very difficult to do the shading method I'm about to show you without sharp pencils. So that's definitely step one. So I'm just initially going to shade white into this circle. And so to do this, I'm not using the tip of the pencil, I'm using the side of the pencil. By using the side, I'm not getting horrible scribbly marks on here, I'm getting more of a soft, even coverage. And so because I'm starting off with quite a fair skin tone, I'm gonna apply a reasonable amount of white. So I'm also working in circular motions as opposed to scribbling back and forth. Doing it in circles, again it just lays down that colour a bit smoother. It's a bit trickier around the edges of the circles. I kind of have to gently go back and forth. But on the most part I'm focusing on doing this with circular motions. So the reason that I'm starting off with white for this skin tone is because a lot of people think that skin is pink but really the main undertone of skin is yellow so the next colour I'm going to use will be yellow but I don't want it to be the bright yellow I'm going to use um, I'm using the white to make it a softer lighter yellow so now I'm just going to use my yellow pencil to just lightly shade over that white using the side of the pencil again and going in circular motions. So now I've done that, I'm going to add a little layer of this red. So although skin is very yellow, it does still have a little bit of a kind of pinky colour to it. So I'm just very, very lightly putting this red on the top and in a second it's all going to be blended together and it was, you'll, you'll start to see the base of the skin tone. And then the last colour I'm going to use just for this light glazing is this brown. Okay, so now I need to blend it all together. So to do this, I'm going to use a cotton pad or a Q-tip. I'm just going to, again, in circular motions, just blend that together. I really like using these for blending. They're super cheap to buy. You can buy them from a pharmacy or a drugstore. They don't cost a lot at all. And I just find that they're really effective. That's my base for my first skin tone. I'm going to do exactly the same again, just to give it a thicker pastel layer. So I'm going to go over it again with the white. So I'm drawing this on pastel matte paper. I'll leave a link in the description to the specific one I'm using. I like when I'm doing skin colours and portraits to draw on kind of skin colour-y paper. It does kind of give you a little bit of a helping hand. And it just means that it's easier to cover, you're not fighting against bright white as your background. So 
as you can see that coverage is much better than it was the first time so now I can start adding a highlight and a little bit of shading just to show how you would do that if you were doing it on an actual portrait to add in the highlights and shading so literally in circular motions just going to add a little white highlight here just to lighten that patch a little more and then blend that together which I'm doing with the clean side of the cutting brush not the side I was using before and now to add my shadow I'm just going to use the brown So I'm just going to draw a line around the edge and then I'm going to graduate it up and then I'll blend it out. And then I just want my shadow to be a little bit darker, so I'm just going to go just around the edge again, but not as far up this time, and then just gently blend it out. Okay, and that's how you do a pale skin tone. So next I'm going to do a slightly darker skin tone. So very, very similar to before, I'm going to start by shading in the circle in white. I'm going to use exactly the same colours as before, just using them in a ever so slightly different way. So I'm still going to do yellow next, I'm just going to do it a little bit firmer than before. So again with the red, just a little bit darker than I did the first time around. And what's good with pastels is if when I blend this together I feel like uh, it's too dark I can just add some more white, white goes really nicely over the top of past other pastel colours and now I'm going to blend that all together so it's not looking very smooth at the moment it's looking a bit blotchy so I'm going to do exactly the same again Now, same as last time, I'm going to add a little white highlight in and I'm going to add my shadow in again. So exactly the same way as last time. Graduate it up and then blend it out. So that's how I do a medium skin tone. So next I'm going to show you how to do more of a pinky ready skin tone, particularly good for pink cheeks. So very similar again, starting off with a white base. And this time I'm just going to be a little bit bolder with the red. And as you can see, the base is already looking much more pink. And I'm going to put the highlight on. This time, actually, I'm not just going to do a white highlight. I am going to put a little hint of yellow in just to tone down the pinkiness a tiny bit. Next, I'm going to show you a olive skin tone. So exactly the same again with the white. And then I'm going to add the yellow and the brown. But certainly to start with, I'm not going to add any of the red. I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to add the teeniest touch of red this time. It's just so that the skin colour looks more natural. 
and then I'm just going to be using the brown to add my shadow in exactly the same way that I've done it before. Okay, and that's how to make a more olivey skin tone. So next, I'm going to go a little bit darker and go for more of a sort of tanned. Still starting with the white base, just a little bit lighter. And same with the yellow, red and brown, but I'm just going to go a little bit darker with it. I'm actually going to make my highlight a little bit brighter on here. I just want it to stand out a little bit more. So the last skin tone I'm going to do is a darker one. So I'm still putting down a white base because I'm going to be putting my yellow on top and I want it to be a light yellow. And then a little bit darker with the brown here. Although I'm not going to go right into the base this time. And then I'm not going to put the yellow on that highlight. And I'm just going to go a little bit darker down into this bottom section where I want the shadow to be. So I'm going to start doing my shadow again. But I'm actually this time going to do it slightly differently in that I'm going to put black down on this very bottom corner just to get some really nice dark shadows in there. And that's it, that's how I make six different skin tones using just five coloured pencils. I hope this video was helpful. If you'd like to see more art tutorials, please subscribe to my channel.